today's unboxing, we are unboxing the GOAT CM Punk. Yes, I know not a lot of people are, are the biggest fans of the stuff that he's been going doing in AEW, but I am still a fan. Mark, as people would say. <laughs> but this is the back. This is a Walmart exclusive. Fun fact. So, I got this for Christmas. I got two of them, actually, for Christmas. Uh, I went to open one, and I'm hoping that it doesn't happen, but I went to open one, and this arm snapped as I was popping it out of the package. I wasn't doing a video, but contacted Jazzywares and was like, hey, this is what happened. Um, so they sent me... They were, I thought they were going to send me this one, but they sent me the uh, the newer one from uh, Series 4, the tights one, the long boys tights. So, I will be doing this unboxing today, and I will be doing that other uh, the, the other unboxing of CM Punk at a later date. But right now, let's get into the figure. This is from AEW Unraveled Collection Series. What series are you... It doesn't say a series because I, I'm assuming it's not a series because it's a on the uh, Walmart exclusive. But this is the front of it. Comes with two sets of mic holding hands, a AEW jacket, and um, looks like pretty pretty thick knee pads. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of those, but let me pop this figure out and let her breathe. I used to have, I, I used to have um, all the elite CM Punks. The only one I was missing was the one where the, he had the mask. All right, plug it in. All right. Okay, off to a much better start than we were at the other one. So. I'm so happy to have this figure. Um, so it says AEW on the jacket. It has AEW on the microphone and AEW on the back. Um, Ben's <laughs> holo <laughs> bends over well. The torso doesn't pop off like pop off like the other ones. And honestly, the knee pads are not near as bad as I thought they were going to be. Is what made me nervous. Arm arm moves good. <laughs> when I moved that arm to take his jacket off last time, last time, the thing snapped like a twig, and I was so mad because I'm like I don't want to. I didn't want to open it because at the time I wasn't doing like YouTube content. So, um, well, there is kind of a bad news. Bad news bears here, but. Um, I think that if I just use nail polish on it, I think that it'll, it'll help. Um, sorry, it's a pain in the ass to get these, 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 uh, jackets off. The only thing I've ever come across that are kind of bad with these, it's on both of them. So, I don't think it's going to pop up on camera. I, I'll try to get some pictures of it. Like, um, you can kind of see, you can't really see it. It's like right here, so um, the uh, the jacket leaves stains. You can definitely see it. Jacket leaves stains on the shoulder, on both of them. It's more. It's right here on this one, but no, no mind. It's not bad at all. I'd rather have stains than be broken. Um, there is the front magnificent like detail on the tattoos um again i will i will uh definitely be freaking playing with this one the uh he's got a thumbs up so that's kind of cool um i'm gonna get some really gnarly pictures i downloaded this new editing software for a key for photography for for the pictures and stuff like that so i'm hoping i can get some really really gnarly shots i am really happy to have him back in the in the, into professional wrestling um i'm hoping that he you know can get the backstage politics all worked out and not have it be like a like a dilemma um so far 
So his ankles is a little janky. I'm doing the standing test. It's not standing so hot. Yeah, so his ankle's a little janky. Um, Hopefully I can get this thing fixed. Don't have, okay, it just took a little wonky in with it to get her, to get her working. Um, they really knocked it out of the park with this. So they've been doing these uh, Supreme versions of like Ultimates for AEW. So I'm hoping... Hoping that they do uh, the uh, the dog collar match between him and MJF. I think that would be pretty dope. Jesus. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. He does have a thumbs up hand. Um, I'm gonna try to. I'm just posing him differently so you can kind of see the uh, the tattoos. Yeah, they did a good job on the face scan. They did a good job on the tattoos. Again, um, has nothing on the kick pads or knee pads. Um, his typical WWE attire with the Chicago flag around the trunks all the way around. And that's that. That's pretty much it. the uh, The detail on these tattoos, though, are are really really good. The um, I wonder if I can just get it off real quick. Yeah, no, it's on there, and it, that's pretty rough for the uh, the figure. But again, I think that if I just got some nail polish, from what I've read, you can just pop off the. Uh, you can get the stainage off. Yeah, I heard the Young Bucks, the two-pack exclusive that's on Amazon, is pretty rough whenever you get it because the, the cloth stains them. So, definitely going forward, whenever I get, like, AEW figures, I will not be keeping them in this material because um, I do not want my figures to get stained. So, when you see the pictures and stuff like that, I don't think... That I will have it on him. I might just to do it. But. It's definitely. Definitely unfortunate that. That uh, it causes. Damage to the figure. From having. The, the, the figure being stained. But. Can't, can't all be done correctly. But I don't know how to do it. So I'm sure it's a lot harder than what it seems. Um, I'm just glad that I have a CM Punk figure, and I'm excited that it's not broken. You know, what you could do is you could paint, like, take, like, some paint and do his hair black and do the beard black. But I am not a custom custom creator when it comes to stuff like that because I would mess this up. I have thought about trying, but I definitely most certainly don't want to ruin figures because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to painting them. Um, he is holding the microphone here, but this is a beauty. Um, I look forward to him coming back into the to almost the WWE. I look forward to him coming back into AEW. Um, these chest tattoos and arm tattoos are just magnificent. I like the feel of these figures. I like the fact that the knee bat, the knees bend really, really well, and they're not so clunky like the other knee pads that are like in Mattel. Uh, head twist good, good ankle pivot. The only problem is it really doesn't stand well. So I'm hoping that I can fix that when it comes to trying to get pictures of this damn thing. They've always had an ankle issues, I've noticed. In, 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 uh, yeah, it just has to stand bent, damn near bent over. You can't be straight up. Alright, there we go. But yeah, I've always noticed that ever since these figures have come out, they have pretty bad ankles. They just twist and rotate around. Kenny Omega's first AEW figure that came out, mine were just like bent in all the time. And they were loose as hell. I figured that they would, you know, maybe have it be like fixed by now. Because they've been out for so many, so long. But it doesn't seem to be the case. 
But uh, I really appreciate everybody that's been, you know, showing some love in the shorts and showing some love watching the content. Uh, I'm having so much fun doing it. I really, really am. I'm trying to get to the point where I can do three videos a day because I would like to work on three videos a day so I could have more time to do photography for the figures and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.